Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my YouTube channel and blog. Um, today's card is going to be the first in my handmade Christmas card series for 2016. And I'm starting out with Alta New Majestic Blooms. This is a layering stamp set and on the back of the packaging it shows you which stamp goes first. So I'm starting with the outline and I'm using Delicata Golden Glitz Pigment Ink. This is a really pretty sparkly gold ink. And you can heat emboss this, but it kind of loses some of its shine when you heat emboss it, um, if you would use a, a powder over it. So I just tend to leave it just the way it, it is. And it dries pretty quickly too. So my idea behind this card was to do something with a traditional nod but out of the box. So I'm using grays for my flower, my layering colors. So I'm starting with Fog from Simon Says Stamp, which is a, a really pale gray. And with these layering stamp sets, your first image, your, your first layer is gonna be your lightest shade. So in whatever shades you pick, whether it's pink or blue or green or red or whatever, um, do your lightest color first. And then as you build your layers, you go darker and darker. So here's our second layer. And I find these, find these easy to line up, but um, Altenew does have their own tutorials where it shows you little markers on the stamps that you can add to help make it easier. So the second shade is smoke, I think. And as these dry, they do dry back a little bit. So they're not quite as dark as when you first lay them down. And this is our final layer. This will be our darkest shade and going with slate. So as you can see, the reason you don't need to heat emboss this is the gold still shines through even though we've layered three inks over the top. So this middle piece is supposed to be like the stamen in the middle, um, and I'm gonna do that in Duckling. Also by Simon Says Stamp. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add my leaves or foliage. And I'm going to start by um, placing a mask over and I just cut that out of some post-it, post -it, full, full back, full sticky back post-it notes and get that out. Um, and I'm going to do my foliage outline in the golden glitz as well. So there's those. And then I'll do the fill-in with um, fog. So you're used to seeing 
poinsettias or roses with Christmas cards. And so that's why I went with more of the peony style flower. Just to give it a nod to the traditional, but not quite. And using the Misty makes using layering stamp sets so much easier. Because if you do need to stamp it twice, because um, you don't get good enough coverage or you got skipping parts or whatever, um, as long as you've left your cardstock in the same place as the first time, your stamps will be perfect. So there's... Um, the corner image all complete and I really love how that turned out So next we're going to go in with the Holiday Knit Stencil by Tim Holtz using some Candied Apple Distress Ink. And so I'm going to add my ink with the ink blending tool. Um, and instead of going in large circular motions, what I did with this to avoid shifting the stencil or the paper um, is kind of held the tool in one spot and turned it just in tiny little circular motions and then I kept the ink concentrated from from the top corner edge down towards the flower just to kind of let it fade out a little bit and then I'm going to go in with a sentiment from one of the, um, another one of the Alta new stamp sets I want to say it's holiday greetings, but um, I'll have it in the description box in case you're wondering. And I like the, faith, the faithful sentiment better because I felt like it fit the card um, more fully. So I'm going to stamp that in Versamark and heat emboss it using WOW Metallic Rich Gold Embossing Powder. And I really like the kind of interplay between the gold, metallic gold of the sentiment and the gold sparkle of the Delicata ink. And so this is a panel, the red is a panel of crushed velvet cardstock by Doodlebug. And you can get those in 12 by 12 size on, I get mine on Amazon, and you get, um, I think, 12 colors in a pack. But it's velvet cardstock, really easy to cut with your, with your die-cut machine or your paper trimmer. And I cut that using the largest of the Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies. So that gets that's a four and a quarter by five and a half, and then just got a stitching edge around the border just to give it a finished look. And I'm gonna lay that down using some score tape. And my card base is Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And the um, panel we stamped on is Nina as well. And that I cut with an Avery L Wonky Stitches frame die. And I'm also adhering that to the Doodlebug panel with score tape as well. So 
So my sequins are from two little things, sequin mixed packs, um, rose gold and warm golden glow. And I like them, I based them together because I wanted a mix of finishes. So you can see the one is gold and shiny, but it's also a matte finish. Whereas the other one is gold and shiny. Um, so it kind of gives you a little bit of a mix. It's a, it's a mix of textures, mix of colors, a nod to the traditional, but out of the box with the gray. Um, so you get a lot of new and old mixed together. So it's not boring. It's interesting. It gives you a lot to look at. It's kind of, um, the, kind of the way you want art to be, if you will. Um, so that you keep your eye focused and interested. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. That pretty much completes the card. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to kind of jump off from these ideas and try out your own stuff, um, your own stencils, your own colors. Go for it. There's really no rules when it comes to card making. So if you don't like it, it's only paper. You can start over. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.